Poker Stars Home Games. What is it and who is it for? In this video I want to show you how easy it is to set up a Poker Stars Home Game so that you can continue to play poker games with your friends online. Poker is not a very good social distancing game. Sitting shoulder to shoulder in somebody's smoky basement handling the same deck of cards using the same poker chips, it really wasn't a game created with COVID-19 in mind. Thankfully, PokerStars has created their home games feature. This allows you the ability to play poker online with your buddies, so you can still have the same game you're used to having with all your friends and not risk getting sick. To start off with, I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded the PokerStars software and have created a PokerStars account. If you haven't done that, I'd recommend you do that before continuing on with this video. It's very easy to do and only takes a couple of minutes. Once you've done that, open up your PokerStar software, and if you look on the right hand side, you'll see the Home Games icon. Click on the Home Games icon and it'll take you to the main page. From here you've got a few options. As you can see, I'm already a member of one league, I've actually created the league, uh, but you've also got the option here to create a poker club or to join a poker club. If someone else has created the poker club, all you have to do is click this button enter the club ID, the invitation code, and you could possibly enter your name and click the join club and you'll be taken right into the club. If you want to create a poker club, click on this button right here, create a club name and an invocation, an invitation code and agree to their terms and conditions and then just click this button to create a club. So instead I'm going to just use the club that I have already created called the NCPT I'm going to open the club lobby by clicking this button right here and it takes you straight to the club lobby where you have a general layout of everything that's involving your club. The final two buttons here, manage games and manage club, these are options that are only avail available to administrators. So I've created this league, I can manage games, I can manage the club. Most other people who join the league will only see these first five buttons. So let's just look over these first five buttons and see what we have here. So first is the club home, and it's got what's called the member list. So on the member list, it shows a list of everybody that is a member of your club. If anybody happens to be online playing poker right now, it puts a little green check mark beside their name. It's a handy feature if you wanted to see if someone was playing online, you can chat them up and maybe get into a tournament and hang out with them that way. The next button we have is the schedule button. Here, it'll show you all the games that you've got coming up. Uh, the top section here is specifically for cash games. We don't have any cash games scheduled anytime soon. And uh, below we have the tournaments. Now we have a lot of tournaments scheduled and I like to take advantage of some of the options PokerStars gives you that allows you to schedule tournaments well in advance and on a reoccurring basis. Uh, off to the right, you've got your buttons here to register and unregister. I'm already registered for this tournament that's happening this evening. Uh, take This can take you to the tournament lobby, and here you can choose whether you want to show just the upcoming registered games or all games coming up in the next little while. So the next button we have is the results page. This is a really interesting page for people that love statistics like I do. This one will show you the results from all the tournaments you've played in any particular season as well as the points awarded and the prize money given out to each person. So for example, we'll look at, say, this game right here. Uh, it shows you the date in which it was played on, the style of poker played, the number of people entered the prize pool, you know, even how long it took. I think that's really cool. Down here, it shows you who finished in what position. So where am I here? I, well, I finished in 11th. That was not a good day. And it shows you, you know, who made the money you know, how much money they made, how many points was given out by PokerStar statistics. On the right-hand side, it shows you something else that's pretty neat. For any name you sele you've selected, it'll show you quite a bit of information about how they've done in this particular season, their best finishes or their worst finishes, you know, how many times they've been in the money, uh, etc. That's a really cool uh, piece of information, uh, as well as the standings page, which is the next button on the right. This shows you for any given season, you can select which season you want. Currently we're in this season, winter 2021 we're calling it. And right now, you know, we've played eight games. You know, it shows you how many points people have. Uh, still the same information on the side of the screen as well. And next we have the options page. 
On the options page it gives you a few different things you can choose to select on or off including uh, whether you want to receive emails every time something happens uh, within the the PokerStars club you know often that means a new game being scheduled uh, as administrator you're probably going to be pretty aware of when new games are scheduled because you've created them there's not a lot to do on this page so we're just going to continue on to the next page which is manage games this is kind of the core for the administrators of your poker club uh, this is where you can create all your tournaments all your cash games again the top section here is for cash games specifically the bottom section here is for tournaments uh, so you, if you want to create a new tournament you just click on this create a tournament button you give the tournament a name and then you can select the start date the start time uh, this is an interesting feature uh, if you want to make a tournament recurring as I mentioned a minute ago you, you go into this button here and you can select whether you want it to be daily, weekly, monthly. Uh, you can have it selected to play every three weeks on a Friday night. You want to play a specific form of poker. Uh, you can really do it to pretty much any variable that you want. Uh, here you select what kind of game you want to play. PokerStars offers quite a lot of options. When they first issued the home game feature, they didn't have nearly as I think there's probably only five or six different options, but they've uh, come up with all sorts of really fun new ideas. And uh, you can select whether you want to play no limit, pot limit, fixed limit, uh, how many people you want to have at your table. So you can choose nine, six, or two. There's a few times where I'd like to see more options than that, but it's still pretty good. Your buy-ins, now they're kind of restricted as well. Uh, I know I wanted to have a tournament where the buy-in was $50. That's just a number I came up with. Can't really do it, but $55, $109. you have got, you've got a fair amount of options. They're just nice to have a little more customization built in. Uh, as well, you can choose your format, uh, rebuys, add-ons. Do you want to play a knockout tournament, a shootout tournament? You know, they've got some, some good options there. Starting stack's another area where I wish they'd have uh, a few more options available to you. I wish you could just kind of write in a number you want, but uh, they won't allow that. Uh, I'm sure there's a good reason for it. Uh, the speed of the tournament, regular is what we almost always play, but there's hyper, turbo, and then there's slow. I've never tried a slow tournament, but I'm guessing that would take a little while. Late registration levels. You don't have to have any late registration if you don't want, or you can have it up to an hour. Uh, it's your, up to you uh, in 20 minute increments. Uh, do you want to have breaks? Uh, yes or no? I know when we're playing our tournaments, usually 15 people or so. Uh, the first break is really enjoyed by most, but by the time we're down to the third break period, which is uh, every 55 minutes on the hour, uh, you're generally just wanting to get the tournament over with and, you know, you, you just want to keep playing. But unfortunately, there's no option to, to continue. You either have breaks or you don't. And finally, you get the uh, the payout structure. You choose you know how you want to divvy up the money um, at the bottom here is this uh, interesting little button here results apply to club standings and statistics I like this button because uh, as we saw on the statistics page uh, you can choose to have a tournament count in the statistics or to not count in the statistics say you're just playing a, a little exhibition game with with a couple of people and maybe not everybody was invited or it was a last minute thing whatever then you can just do that and it doesn't count towards standings and the final button is the manage club button this will be a very useful tool for club administrators it'll give you a lot of options on how to handle members of your league if you've got a player who you know maybe is acting uh, very unfriendly towards everyone else. You don't want them in the league. Maybe they weren't even supposed to be in the league to begin with. They weren't invited, but someone else gave them the, the passcode to get in. Uh, you can choose to suspend them. Um, you know, if you make a mistake, you want you can reinstate them. You know, you've got a lot of different options here, including to grant someone administrative rights so that they can uh, help create tournaments and manage the club as well. So not all the responsibility falls on one person. Uh, over here, you've got the Invite New Members uh, button. Uh, this will, If you click on this, it'll show you a lot of information about your league that you can then send to people by email. Now, I'd recommend just clicking this button right here. This copies that invitation, and then you can paste it into an email, send it off to the people you want to invite into your club. It gives them all the information they need to join the club, including you know the, the club ID uh, that we've had to enter when we were creating the club and the password of course uh, here you can do a, you know a few little other customization things here you can we've created a little image for our club there 
Uh, you can select a club color. This is kind of, I don't know, if, if you look around this area here, you'll see the color change. Uh, I don't really see the purpose to it, to be honest, but it's something PokerStars has as an option. Uh, here you got your change club options. This, when it opens up, will show you some some options that you've got about setting your season like now this has a direct effect on your standings page and the moment you keep changing this kind of information the standings get reset every time okay, so our league right now is set up so that every three months a new a new season begins uh that keeps it kind of fun for everybody we we did a our first season was almost an entire year and halfway through the season one guy had run away with it so far that it was really over so we like setting things up to be a little short term it keeps people more interested in in the end game and then the bottom link you got here is to close your club uh, if you want to close it well then you click this button and it is no more and you don't have to worry about running it anymore thank you for watching this video i hope it has served as a useful guide to help you understand PokerStars home games have a good one